Well, that's good enough. We don't want uh, Cartoon Network Hong Kong to come after us. Because I'll tell you this, they came after me when I was streaming the uh, the Adventure Time uh, Minecraft texture pack. Oh, they came after me hard. All because of the Adventure Time Minecraft texture pack. How long ago did they come after you? How long ago was this? I was like right about the time I lost interest in really like editing stuff on YouTube because I kept getting strikes every single fucking video that I had to do. So, uh... I want to say four, five years ago, somewhere on there. Well, the, the best part is, is Cartoon Network as a whole went out of business last year. Did they really? Yep. What took their place? I think they were bought by another company, but they're no longer. It's all Disney now. Okay, well, we are we are officially live. Everything's working. Everything's good. Uh, click off of there. Make sure there's no space. The spacing's fine. We're good. We're great. Cartoon, Cartoon Network needs to bring back Samurai Jack. Oh, no. I believe that story is done. Like, I believe they, like, finally did come around to an ending for Samurai Jack. He was... Yeah, they did bring back Samurai Jack for, like, a, like a whole, like, two seasons. And that story is, yeah, concluded. They finished it in that when it came back. That's fucking cool. I I loved that. Like, uh, one of my favorite fucking death battles is uh, Afro Afro Samurai versus Samurai Jack. They're, you know, they're dark on different levels, but at the same time, their paths are very just rife with dark. Oh my god. Oh, how did courage, courage end it? Like, honestly, I didn't get to see the ending of Courage, the Cowardly Dog. However, the ending of Courage was... I did get, like, I did get some closure because of Courage versus Scooby-Doo. So... Like, if you want to know how some of these uh, series ended and shit like that, I would 100% recommend Death Battle. Like, they they go hard. They do all the research. And for the first time in, I don't know, five days, cheers, everyone. That's right. Wait. Your boy got some Do beer. Feel bad? Do you feel good enough to drink that? I had sex today. That's how good I feel. I'm looking down at you, guy. I'm looking <laughs> down at you. Let's see you. You 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 take care of yourself. I'm gonna turn you back up a little bit. Uh, also, given Wolfie, the fact that you're fucking, good. given the fact that you're fucking almost died eating pizza. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. That was fun. You, you need to like be healthy and survive. Listen, shagging up is has a lot of health benefits to it. It yeah, releases exactly. all the right amount of endorphins and everything needed to help the blood. Nobody system. asked. Nobody fucking asked you. <laughs> Nobody fucking on. asked I'm you. I'm so glad some. I'm. I'm so glad one of the twins has my back. I I have your back, guy. But I still condone that you take it easy and get better. <sighs> you, when I die, I'm going to get cremated, but I'm gonna swallow a bunch of like unpopped popcorn first. Just to give them a shock. <sighs> yes. Fun. The yes. I, I, I definitely want my remains spread, but I don't necessarily want to be cremated. Would that actually work though? Because like you'd, <laughs> you'd be incinerated, and then the popcorn would still be incinerated. Like those, <laughs> the, you're you're in an enclosed area. Like they're not going to hear the popping. There oh would no, be they. A, there would be a moment where you were fully cooked, just enough to start basting whatever's left inside you. At which point, yeah, they would just start 
and it would your body would just yeah yeah, it doesn't you'd be surprised like it doesn't it's not soundproof it's an incinerator yeah but you, still the fucking roar of the fire you wouldn't be able to hear too much you'd be surprised gas controlled flames like that don't make a lot of noise uh as long as it's not like that uh that that cop and that acorn huh <laughs> Don't worry, all my friends in blue, I see you, but you know you were laughing just as hard as I was. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, we're, we're here, everything's working. Okay, good, and good. And looks like most of our volume levels are pretty much on par. Uh, Kaido, say something. Oh, I'm muted. Hi. Hey, perfect. Awesome. I was wondering, I thought you just looked at the fucking camera like, fuck you. <laughs> uh, Skeletor, say something other than just giggling. Something other than just giggling. Okay, cool. Uh, and Wee Wee Wolf, Koya. Yes. Oh, god damn it. What? I have to change your volume every fucking session. There we go. I don't know why I use the same computer every single session. Yeah, you probably don't pay attention to which part of it's the microphone, though. I actually don't know which part of it's the microphone, to be honest. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're we're here. All right, Zevis. Are we ready? Yeah. Well, we're uh, we're missing someone else today, so that person is going to be kidnapped. Oh, well, uh, yeah, they're going to get kidnapped, just like how Skeletor got kidnapped last time. And. Would anyone like to give a recap of what happened last time in Steinhardt's? Yes, no, maybe so. Uh, don't all jump at once, guys. You guys are main characters right? here. I'll be honest, I don't remember a lot. I remember us getting in a lot of fights and heading towards the church. And I then mean, we got assaulted by these, uh, by whatever monsters were, we were fighting. And we almost we were almost on the verge of death. Probably. Hmm. I don't, but I don't recall. Other than we're still trying to make it to the church and we were fighting before we ended session. Sorry, I got a um, from my wife. Uh, so what happened last time is we met up with that uh, that hunter dude. And he said, okay, you guys had a short rest. Now get the fuck out of my house. And send us on our uh, merry way. Where uh, we, we did some investigating. And we uh, were heading towards this uh, cathedral. and uh, Or at least in the, that general direction. And uh, we got ambushed by, I think they were like bird people. They were Kenku assassins. Yeah. Uh, no, they they were like deformed monstrosities, like bird-like. Either way, we, we kind of tore those guys a new asshole. Um, and... Uh, oh, Corvin. Corvin, yeah. And uh, we left off with a Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that thing? Uh, only to see like some hulking monstrosity start chasing us. Um, 
I what what did we just did our characters know if we don't attack it, it won't attack us, or was that something above game that we we discussed? Uh, I think uh, some of us had some of you guys had uh, realized that if we don't attack it, it won't attack. However, we did live uh, leave off with um, Mr. Stables, who failed. Of course, Mr. Stables will fail all insight checks. Saying, "Beast detected, engaging." Uh, oh, right. And Gibbs said, "No, don't." <laughs> Gibbs told you not to, and you you backed down, right? Uh, no. I I I, I was deliberately trying to leave off on because we had decided it was the end of the session, and Mister <laughs> Savills. Oh, bless his heart, he's gonna die. You're not one. So, but I mean, you can also, you also uh, have been one of the people to give Mr. Stable's commands and he yeah. follows them to the best of his ability. So, yeah. And I think that's pretty much where we left off, was running away from this <laughs> hulking nightmare <laughs> after dealing with the Corvin and, and, oh, uh, the, the, the wisp falling sky thingies. The spears that fell from the sky and landed. We we, we killed those things too. Before the COVID, uh, Corvin. The spirits. Yeah. So, just uh, kind of recap what you all said. Uh, yes. <laughs> the, uh, the large monstrosity when the um... Like, it seemed to peer into existence and then peered out of, or like just disappeared out of existence. Uh, no one caught what the uh, triggering effect was, as well as the Shattered Moon is still in effect and the uh, spirits are still falling from the sky. You all assumed if you didn't attack the creature, the large monstrosity. Yeah. It wouldn't come and attack you, but that was never confirmed. Right. Either way, we decide that we're gonna... We are fucking off. We are fucking right the hell off. Yeah. Oh, is that us? You decide on a different map. Or is it the same map? Is this the same map that we... Yeah, the same map. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I have my notes open. Uh, I'm gonna turn off my aura if that's okay with you, Zebus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your your spirit guardians is technically still active, but it won't be active for long. It's what a ten minute duration. Ten minute duration, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Kaido has earned the inspiration, or Altendorf. I think that should go to Wee Wee Wolf because he talked more than I did. If by talking you mean stumbling and recapping two episodes ago. <laughs> no, I was, yeah, well, it was a long time ago. I don't remember. But uh, last you guys saw, once the large monstrosity disappeared from sight, which you are unsure of how it did this feat, uh, you are still able to see the more and exponential growing amount of wisps and spirits continuously coming down and falling from the sky due to the effects of the shattered moon. Mr. Stables, we're falling back. Do not engage. Oh, wait, I have to say it in an Altendorf voice. I still haven't decided on an actual voice for him yet. He's a what, a service? Yeah, he's a service. It's a like deer head. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Stables, 
We must retreat. We cannot win against such numbers. Protocol 8. Escort. And Meeting all Prime Directive options. Follow Church orders. And with that, I, I'm probably going to, like, take the party and we're going to fucking run. Do, do we know which way is the way to, like, the cathedral? Is north? Um, there's really only one main path, and uh, the hunter that you last spoke with told you just go straight. Don't don't deviate. Don't try and get lost around the corners because you're going to end up running into more things that are going to try and kill you. Yeah. Because this world wants to kill you. Alright. So, yeah, we're going to go north. We're going to run. Are we in a turn order? No, no, you're you're out of turn order. Okay. Yeah. Uh, booking it. <laughs> Uh, do, 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 do. About right there. Give me just a second. The 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 clouds that are overhanging the like the moon, kind of just sitting in the sky, make another disbursement, revealing more of the direct moon's gaze and light as you can everyone give me a perception check real quick you said a deception oh, perception damn Vermeer isn't paying attention. Vermeer's just like, yeah, fuck this, I'm leaving. Uh, everyone else, you can see there are definitely many more spirits in the sky currently still falling, and it almost looks like the moon is falling apart more. And as the moon's light shines onto the ground, you see this large monstrosity reappear and just start slamming into the walls as if searching for something. We don't want to be anywhere near that when it finds what it's looking for. I suggest we keep moving. I'm keeping direct pace with Altendorf. Oh, did I accidentally cut him? <laughs> Thinking. All right. Uh, you guys reach almost like a, a city arc separating like the main deserted streets uh, going into a small plaza. We are going to make a slight change in map. And you guys are at the bottom. Oh, wait, wait. hang on. What's Red doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the third wall. Damn, Red pops out. Well, this isn't these... quite right. <laughs> Where are my kids? <laughs> Bam's back into <laughs> non-existence. <laughs> Moon mists into non-existence. <laughs> Octot is going to look around and you know make look up at the the large 
demonic looking door up at the end of the plaza and say I think there's something with this. This looks familiar. It looks like we're safe around here. I'll, I'll be right back. And then disappears off into the distance. Uh, uh, are they going to be okay? Uh, I, I'm going to... Can I make a perception check to see if like the withs are falling in this area? Like, if... Like... Gauging off of what Octot just told us. Yes, go ahead. Well, that fucking sucks. <laughs> uh, the wisps are still falling, but they almost kind of seem to be not falling as quickly on this location. Gotcha. We have a little time, but I exercise extreme caution. Mr. Stabbles, this goes especially for you. As you tread through the eerie streets, the smell of iron and rot fills all of your nostrils. You come through, stepping into this large open plaza, and are met with gruesome signs of an ancient battle, which seems to have died out. There's no current fighting or activity. The ground is stained with the blood of falling guards, the remains torn apart and scattered across the top of cobblestones. Intricately carved stone pillars stand covered in a strange, writhing mold. A pair of keep doors loom ahead, shields shut with waterfalls of coagulated blood creeping down besides them. The eerie silence is only broken by the occasional distant howl, as if the very earth is weeping for the atrocities committed here. So Altendorf wants to go up to. I'm. Is this dead body real? Like, is is this? The, it's a bunch of dead guards. Okay. So yeah, Altendorf wants to. Sorry, oh, you go ahead, guy. One second. Uh, I just wanted to clear up because uh, I didn't really catch what your orders were when you said, especially you, Mister Stabbles. Uh, to exercise caution. Exercise caution. Okay. Uh, in that case, his weapons, his weapon comes back out, uh, and uh, you just watch like he's he's got the he, like this this whip that he's been bladed whip that he's been using, but he keep he's got it coiled up so it's not clanking, and part of caution comes with stealth. So Mr. Stabbles is going to very carefully, like, you just watch all the plates kind of separate in his armor, and he just, like, moving low and slow, well, fuck, he can move as fast as he wants stealth, but, like, for the most part, moving low and slow next to Altendorf, like, basically ready to pop out and at something as he carefully, like, stays within, like, 15 feet but starts to essentially hit the perimeter of this little plaza. Is this your token, Kaido? Where? Yes. Okay, then who is this? That would be Wolfie. No, this is me. Oh, oh. that's uh, oh, we... Okay. Koya's character. Okay. So, uh, Altendorf is going to approach this body, and, uh, you know, he's resisting the urge to, like, you know, bite into some of the flesh because, you know, service. Uh, but he is going to do a medicine check to, like, kind of gauge how old this body is. Not like the age of person when they died, but like how long they've been dead, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long it's been a, a corpse and yeah. not a living body. 17. 
you you're able to verify that the corpses are covered in claw marks and with that 17 you're able to also verify that this is less than a, a week since their death claw marks this is telltale signs of beasts definitive, Mr. <laughs> definitive signs of beasts detected alert mode I'm going to like trace my fingers over the claw marks and like think of like what what beasts are in the area that could make uh claw marks like these and like you know maybe lupine in uh in origin but uh in the end I'm going to stand back up and uh kind of like gesture the the party or to move we're gonna move forward slowly would you like to make a um a history or a nature check to determine the origination of these claw marks. Well, they're both plus zero, so I'll make a nature. Hey! <laughs> nice. Hey. Uh, you guys actually fought uh, a creature like this when you first awoke from the tents. It was... They're very reminiscent of one of the uh, the lichens that were scoring the streets and looking for things to eat. Uh, hi, your character's name is Calcifer, right? Uh-huh. Calcifer. I think we're good dealing with some lichens. Make sure you keep your eyes out for anything furry. And yeah, I'm going to take a few tentative steps uh, forward, like heading towards the door. As you tell, as you tell Calcifer to look for anything furry, he just kind of looks at you, looks you up and down. Yeah. And gives you a skeptical look, like, but you're furry. I'm more flexy than furry. Aren't right? turtles? I don't. What do they look? What are they called? Servus. Servus. Insults against the church. Detected. Please advise. Stand down, Mr. Stavels, and forgive them. Parameters mm. recognized. Man, where's Octot to manage this thing when you need them? Would anyone else like to do anything? Uh, there, there's a bunch of dead bodies all over the ground. Uh, they're all guards, though. Right. And you haven't come across any beast or a monstrosity type corpse or Oh, anything. yeah, no, you, you're right. You're fleshy. Well, no, your legs are hairy. And your arms are hairy. Your face is fleshy. I'll come up and but I'm also wearing check robes. out these to see if it's the same markings as the first one that killed him. I want to check over in this group of people and see if there's anything worth taking off their bodies. Uh, go ahead and roll investigation. Uh, roll nature or history. No. For your character's what? name again? Ramir? Mine is... No, Bane. Um, Bane. Bane. Oh. Where's it at? Damn. Bane. There we go. It, it takes you a good minute, Vermeer, as uh, you're kind of 
going through and searching the guards and trying to verify some information, uh, you do find a small pouch that seems to be emptied except for a blood-stained letter. Ooh, can I read the letter? By all means. So you open up the blood-stained letter, and you find that this letter was informing the recipient that they were eligible for retirement and a full pension uh, next month. Ooh. <laughs> they have looked up. Amir looks down at the body, pats the dead person's shoulder. You almost made it, buddy. I'm sorry you had to die like this. Family guy skit. I'm one day from <laughs> retirement. <laughs> you, you're you unable to tell, Bane, if this was from the same creature. Uh, the right. The marks look somewhat similar, but you can't make any distinction if it was made specifically by a the same beast or if it was made by numerous beasts. Okay. <clears throat> with uh, at Altendorf, with a very soft. Uh, with a very soft maneuvering of mechanism, you watch as the the blade that uh, Altendorf is used to seeing Mr. Stable's wield kind of just folds into his arm, and he draws a short bow from his back, still like stealthy, but almost like fluid, like he's done it thousands of times. And yeah, he's still like crouched. All his armor plating is shifted to not clank against itself. But Altendorf gets to like hears a soft sigh as the mechanism whirs and retracts the blade. And now he's just holding a bow. <laughs> See, I don't I don't have any healing potions or anything on me, right? Search for Location for surprise attack. Oh, is uh, is uh, is Mr. Stavels asking Altendorf that? Yeah. Just stay in a sentry mode, I guess. Protecting area. <laughs> and Mr. Stabble's very, you know, no, stealthily. Don't do that. Kind of disappears, like, into the shadows around the pillar here. All right. What are you doing, Calcifer? I'm just looking around at the bodies. Looking down in the moat, or whatever this is. I don't know what this is. It's like a, um, almost like an aqueduct. Hmm. Uh, but filled normally, with blood. <laughs> normally could have been filled with water, you know, now filled with blood, uh, almost somewhat coagulated on top. You can see bits and pieces of. Like, yeah, almost just kind of floating around. Kind of kneel down and start poking. As you kneel down and are looking into the the aqueduct of blood, you see your reflection, although red. Due so to, that you know, noise being the blood. You just made, that was uh, your many eyed <laughs> form staring back at you starts to kind of morph and twist, pull and bubble as 
it turns into a different face. A geist comes up out of the blood and reaches out to you. Uh, Does Altendorf well, or Mr. Stabble see this? Uh, so, Calcifer's kneeling down in the blood, like at the edge uh, of the, the moat. I'm I'm so. sentry, so I'm like scanning. But if I if I can't, like, and I'm hidden, so uh, if I can have that eighteen, awesome. If I can't, you know, then obviously. Uh, the if anything, it's gonna have like three quarters cover and then some. I would need a uh, would need a perception check from Mister Stables. First, to see if Mr. Stable sees. This is what you get when you have human eyes. Okay. Hey, not bad. Not bad. But I'd say enough to be able to react after the fact when you hear the reaction from Calcifer go off. Okay. Calcifer takes 11 cold damage and needs to make a DC 10 con saving throw. It's for... you, your maximum hit point is temporarily reduced by 11 points. Damn. Wait, what? So, Rain. go ahead. Shot goes off. The, uh... I'm unconscious. Oh, oh then you're... Dead. I'm, I'm oh, not no, dead. No, okay, no. okay. Maximum hit points isn't fully <laughs> reduced. Nope. I still but... got a few more of those to go. Twenty-two. Your oh, bow is actually... not magical, is it? Oh, it's too late. Never mind. Um. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. Nope. No. I mean, you it you doesn't. definitely get it. You definitely get it. Would I still be able to get my reaction? Uh, the reaction. What before, kind of reaction like, is it? Before I was looking at my spell list. Sure. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make him reroll that, so maybe I can not die. Sure. <laughs> I mean, you, you're you're it's, technically surprised. You, know, you can make your reaction because you can definitely see, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm like, okay, um, no, not that. Uh, one. Hold on, it's still it's funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're it still hits. Okay, I'm. Well, yeah, I'm still unconscious. Choose somebody Are to we... have advantage to before you go unconscious. Um. Uh. Let's go with Bane since he's right beside me. <laughs> Do I roll pulp the initiative tracker? Uh, currently, the Geist is dead <laughs> because the Geists don't have resistance to uh, physical damage in general. So, nice. don't need the initiative tracker yet. Oh, did Mr. Stavos actually fucking hit? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And right. Mr. Stavos was stealthed. <laughs> uh, Altendorf's going to kneel down okay. and place his hands on... Uh, uh, fuck. I'll uh, Kels, thank you. This many cantrips. <laughs> Oh, well, why didn't it roll? God damn it. <laughs> no. There we go. Ooh, Tan. Thank you. Your uh your maximum hit points are still reduced. 
That's fine. It it didn't even get me to half health <laughs> with my head max health total, so it's okay. I'm just conscious. Sure. I'm cautious. So that's all that matters. Just make sure you mark down like your original hit point maximum, <laughs> so that you know once it's restored. I haven't changed. I haven't changed it. I I'll remember it. Does yeah. it last a day? How long is does it last? Till a long rest. Till a long rest. Okay, that's fine. This is why I exercise. Uh, urge you to exercise caution. He kind oh, of I, like. <laughs> it's 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 very rare that I ever get caught off guard. Very rare. Very rare. Altendorf kind of gently like boops him up uh, side the back of the head before standing back up and like uh, drawing his uh, his uh, flail and proceeding carefully to the stairs. Well, as you guys are getting closer to the aqueduct, you all noticed the bl- the entire aqueduct is starting to look like it's boiling. It bubbling, boiling, a mess of churn of thick, dark blood and whatever else is in there. Gore. Blood and gore. Yeah. Not to state the obvious, but this looks less than ideal. At this point, I will now say go ahead and roll initiative. As more geists start to arise from the blood, uh, can I make one more stealth check since since we all had a chance to like kind of calm down, reconvene, and an action was thrown with that uh, cure wounds? Yeah, reroll your initiative, Bane, because uh, yeah, I saw that your stealth. No. No, because you viewed yourself as being stealthy. Yeah, we the roll twenty saw some fish that thing where you it hit initiative or saving throw. They haven't fixed that yet. Just do it from your character sheet. But yeah. I will say you have advantage on your initiative. It is an ability check. What? Oh, Bane. Okay. No, uh, the... Wait a minute. No, you're not going to re-roll your stealth. You had advantage from the, uh... The the silvery barbs. You got a 29. No, that was Bane that got the, uh, that got the thing. But there was also, like, oh. once I fired that shot, there was nobody around. So could I have it... Could I have that 29 since nobody was around and I had time to prepare? No one that you know of. Okay. But you can have the twenty nine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but Bane, if you're yeah, your initiative will say is a seventeen since you have advantage. Unless you I'll give yeah. So let's do this one. This one. Do, 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 do. All right. The uh, the one guy seems to be stuck trying to come out of this boiling blood. It kind of like doesn't come all the way out. When Which it one is that one? The the one on the right. The one on the right. <laughs> seems to be like having trouble removing itself from some of the viscera that's inside this aqueduct as it's almost like grappled by intestines. Uh, uh, uh. It got stuck in its own trap. <laughs> so yeah. The uh, and then at that point, yes, Kelsifer, it is your turn. Uh, 
I'm, I'm going to move. Here. And then. So I say we're told to go towards the chapel. Yeah, you can go towards the chapel. Go towards the church. Use this to make my way up there. Uh, and on this thing. Pew. Is a 12? Yes, a 12 hits. Three. Oh. <laughs> oh, that sucks. So you bad. watch you watch as the cosmic eye kind of like beans it off the side of the head and like it really makes no reaction just besides like a small head jerk. I'm I'm guessing resistance. Got another one in ya. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. And then that's all I do. All right. It's that geist's turn. That geist is going to reach out and uh to do. To attack Bane. Does a 20 hit? Yes. Then I have ten, to make a... 10 poison. Save. Yep. Or become poisoned for a minute. With the uh, constitution. So you're not poisoned. You are good. I still take the 10 poison damage, just not poisoned. Yeah. Yep. And that's all the geist does. And now it's Bane's turn. Bane is going to shillelagh with his arms. Uh, how long does your form last? Um, I'll shave. Well, these benefits last for 10 minutes or until you use wild shape again. Yeah, so it wouldn't be active okay. because if Altendorf's Spirit Guardians is also down. Let's see. I can use Shilele as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. Can use it on your quarter staff or your club, whichever. Yep. But I take a 10 does not hit. No, it does not. Okay, that will end my turn. Mr. Staples. Let's see here. Seen an opportunity. He kind of like seen an opportunity. Obviously, everybody's seems to be really concerned about that, but I kind of see the edge of something also peeking up around this pillar. You you can see the yeah. He's like currently grappled by intestines and viscera. This one is? Yeah. Oh, okay. But it looks similar to the other geists that have been dropping from the sky? No. Oh, uh, the guy... No, these are... These are definitely different than what's been falling from the sky. Okay. Well, I have advantage on my shot, I believe. You are hidden. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing down. 23? 23 would hit. 
Schwoop and schwoop. 17. That is a hit. No, 17 points of damage. That is that is definitely a good amount of damage. Oh, okay. But it is still up. It's still up. Okay. Uh, Mr. Stabbles is going to wait for a directive, but now that he's been alerted, he's going to run up to this pillar right here. And... Those aren't really pillars. Those are more like or so high like barricades. Oh, so I, I could be like I could be kind of crouched down and still break line of sight uh, still break line of sight. Uh you would be crouched down and like the tip of your head would be like looking over it. Like you'd be like pulling one of these. Okay, then you know what? Then I'll just go to here next to the uh next to the stairs. Okay. And bonus action. Yay. You you uh you definitely feel like uh you could have done better as some of your you know, armor plating like clinks against each other as you step on a rat and it squeaks and runs away. Oh, apologies, citizen. You see the rat turn around, it like stands up on its hind legs and goes <laughs> and then runs off. Altendorf. You are muted. Uh oh. Good shot, Mr. Stabbles. Continue to engage the enemy. And, uh. He's going to lash out with his orphan's cradle. And strike this one. I have reach. Oh, that definitely hits. Go ahead, roll damage. Oh, Jesus Christ. It needs... Oop. That's why my numpad is off. I don't know how that happened. Uh, it needs to make a GC sixteen con save. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's oh, not no, it, actually. It does. It does <laughs> because uh, your orphan's cradle ignores immunity. Oh, sweet. It's poisoned. Yeah. It is disadvantaged on all attack rolls and saving throws. Yes, it do. Anything else, Altendorf? Um, I don't think I have a bonus action to spend at this current point. Okay. Premier. I'm going to damn that guy. You're going to run up and stab him? I don't. I don't have my. It's not a tune. I mean, it's not transform, so it's just you, fist. No oh, punch. Then you have yeah. to get within five feet of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now roll the d100. You slip off the viscera of its seemingly physical body and 
end up getting caught inside of the the intestine that it's also trapped in. No. You are now grappled. Shit. Am I you may, you may spend an action to try and escape the grapple, but you just used your action. Well, don't don't yeah. you get two attacks with your action? Don't you get two attacks with the action attack? Grapple I doesn't do, give since... you any. Uh, grapple doesn't pose impose any disadvantage. I do. I get a second attack since I'm level five, monk. Yep. That's a hit. And that is enough to, as you take your phantom limb and just punch right through the physical geist, and your hand is like sticking through its torso as the geist looks at you and its face kind of draws as it looks like it's almost becoming ethereal again and then explodes. Oh, damn. Make a DC-10 count save. Uh, lucky you were just out of the range. You take four poison damage. Oh, no. Okay. At the start of the round... You guys see two more geists up here behind you. as they seem to come out of the pillars that were near the entrance of this location. Elsa first turn. Okay. Uh... And these guys at the bottom look a little more ghostly than the other ones did. Look more ghostly. Yeah. They're translucent. Okay. And if I need you. Um I'm going to this one. Kayla. I'm coming. And that's a hit. Right, so first this, and then it needs to make a wisdom save. It fails, receives a short term madness. Right. I'll turn more than one. It receives a short-term madness. Anything else? I don't think so. 
I don't think so either. This guy's turn. Going to move out. And it looks behind itself and moves a little further as it swings at Altendorf. Okay, I'm back. Okay. And Mrs. Altendorf. Bane. Bane is up. Bane is going to use one of his um, wild shapes and actually do this. Right. You're using your action to turn into a wicker bone behemoth. Yes. Oh, and then because I forgot, I'm gonna to to roll the d8 with that. Uh, oh, no, choose one of the d8s. So you had a three and an eight. So you can it can be either fire or thunder. We'll do thunder. Okay. And then. Did they fail to spread the chaos? Yes. Yeah. I failed. Yeah. And that will end my turn. All right, make sure you, uh, Take note of the bark skin. Yep. The other thing I read about it was um, I gain HP every turn. Yeah, it's half of the damage that you took your previous turn. So starting now, yeah. every time you take damage, keep in Keep a note of how much damage you take, and then you add half of it back to yourself. Up to a maximum of three times your wisdom mod. Yep. Alright, it is this guy's turn. As its ghostly form... And... Flies forward. I don't have anything that's bonus action for spells. Mr. Devil. Engaging by request. Uh, free draw or stow. Uh, well, actually, I don't. Yeah, free draw. The uh, blade springs back. The whip springs back out. Since it's a one-handed weapon, I can hold the bow and it at the same time. Yep. And. This one. Oh, nine probably doesn't hit. No, it does not. Okay. Quick As you second. lash out and end up hitting the barricade that's kind of next to it. Um, expend one. Okay. One divine point. Show up and again. That is a 30 That's to hit. Definitely a hit. Oh, excuse me, a 29. That's 29 to hit. Okay. Uh and then yep, within five feet of an ally. So boop. uh that's 
1d4. Okay, so it's 9 plus 8. That's 17. On this one. That's the one I shot before. No, it's not. Yes, it is. This is the one that just came out of the pillar at the start of the round and flew up here. Oh, okay. Oh, right. It got to act before me. Yeah. On that turn. Oh, right. That's my turn. And, all right. So that's 17, you said? Yep. A Serpent Blade Whip is magical, right? Yeah, it's considered a fortified and divine enchanted weapon. Is it silvered? I don't believe it's silvered. I forgot. The... Hold on. Fucking... I need like a whole it is a magic... Have. It is considered a magical weapon. Hold on. The weapon that I choose to sanctify, which is that weapon... Is considered a magical weapon. Okay. As the the whip lashes out and slices again. Oh, it the... is considered silvered. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. It does more damage than. Oh, right. This guy's turn, as it's going to again fly up, and it's turn right here. Altendorf. Uh, Altendorf doesn't like that at all. <laughs> it's, uh, as a bonus action, actually, real quick, it's going to change from its ethereal form to its material form. You hear, uh, Altendorf grimace, and then he says, Cleanse the undead. Orphan's cradle. And you guys hear a snap. And his uh, his weapon catches fire as he lashes out at uh, at this one. Uh, 11 probably doesn't hit it, though. 11 is a miss. And that's my turn. Vermeer. I'm going to spend an action to get out of the grapple. Uh, roll a athletics. He's you... not in the grapple anymore. The, car the grappling creature's dead. The creature wasn't the one grappling him. It was the viscera. AKA trap. Yeah. I was I was trapped and it did. He was trapped with the creature. Not did I by break the free of it? But you yeah, you broke free. As he as Vermeer wiggles his way out of the trap, he swipes off the nasty viscera that's on him. Well, that was unpleasant, and then he ends his turn. At the start of the round. You guys see... 
crap, hang on. Uh, there we go. You guys see more geists up here. Back, by the way. Well, uh, no, I'm just in time too. Apparently, yeah. did I take any, did I take any damage? No. Okay. It's my turn. It is your turn, Kelsifer. As the this one was the one affected by the short term madness. <laughs> Okay. Uh, ten foot radius. Uh, I don't know if it is or circle. Cool. Originating from there. Uh -huh. That's why. Even though they, because they're so full, even though they're folding so heavy, they're not full. But they're in balloon. All of them. All right, so I need to make three con saves, and then whatever roll on the madness table for them, unless they're immune to madness. Uh, yeah, trash. So, what is that? Nine, nine for the two that failed, and half for the one that passed. Okay. Constitute in addition, future your choice. Hit today. Uh, I'm gonna give that Nat one. Uh, his uh resistance isn't going to kick in, and he dies. But he was being in physical form is going to blow up. So I need Bane and Vermeer to make a con save. And then Bane's going to roll the hit die. Uh, Bane succeeds, so Bane only takes four or three poison. Vermeer takes the six poison. And then Bane gets to make the uh, hit die roll. So, Bane, you can roll a hit die if you choose to heal yourself. Oh wait, no, he's in beast form. Oh, yeah. oh well, I for I forgot about that. Never mind. Oh well, you gain eight hit points. Enjoy. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna shout, "Head to the church," and start making my way to the church doors. What was that? No, line. Thank you. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, while you're okay, I can make it to the door. And that's all I do. Okay. It is this geist's turn. As it flies forward, lands right here. Actually, no, it's gonna action dash land right here. Bonus action, material uh, form. I'm back. Sorry about that. We're no, good. good. This guy's turn is going to fly up and stay in ethereal form and. Swing out to hit Mr. Stapples. The only thing you missed, Kara, was me saying 
Let's head to the church. After healing. Bane. Mr. Stables does a 16 hit. No. Nope. This guy's turn I'm is go going to swing at Bane after it just received some healing. Because now he is a monstrosity. There's a 15 hit Bane. Yes, I was muted. Oh, shit. Hold on. Uh, no, it doesn't. Because you're under the effect of bark skin. Your AC is currently 16. Oh, yeah, that's right. And now it's Bane's turn, unless Mr. Stables has something. I was I was misreading these. Um... No, I'm under wood skin, not bark skin. No, it's bark skin. Bark skin is wood. Okay. Oh, there. Right. So I'm going to go after this one. Ow. Jesus, okay. <laughs> Which one? Uh, the one to the left. Aww. Well, okay. no, Twenty five definitely play. hits. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah I have Shillele. So that would have hit, by the way. I was misreading it. On my what? armor. Oh. Okay. I don't remember where it is. I'm just going to roll one of their damage. It's real the quick. Glacial Touch Ethereal Form. Yes. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Uh, like, just literally right above Bane, the fucking descri description, Rotten Touch Material Form. Yeah. Like on the same page. Yep, I see it. Con save. <laughs> All right, so you don't reduce maximum. This thing takes the 10 damage because it's in physical form. Uh, anything else you'd like to do, Bane? Um, one thing I almost forgot to do is I did oh, take yeah, four oh. points of damage so I can heal it. You heal half, so you half, heal two. I get two. Yep. That'd be it. <clears throat> Mr. Stables. This one is what uh, that one's in ethereal form uh, whatever that's a hit and yes this weapon does count as silvered I looked it up yes That's, uh, what, 19 damage? That's 20. Or 20? 22? No, just 20. Is it dead? Nope. Okay. Attacking again. How many times can you do that? Uh, this will be my last divine point. So that's a 24 to hit. That's, that's a dead. Okay. Oh, it's only the six, but it's plus three, so that's nine. 
Yeah, that's a dud. And in its ethereal form, it does not blow up. Holtendorf. Um, or unless you would like to do something else. Or isn't the bonus action to swing again? Yeah, but I still have oh, movement. Yeah. Yep. And you did hear Calcifer say, get to the door. Cool. That's my turn. Okay. Altendorf. Is Altendorf back yet? Uh, Altendorf is am. back. Those 14 hit. 14 does hit. Which on one? That one? This one. That's 11 points. And it needs to make a DC con 16 Constitution saving throw. Yes. And do, do. It definitely fails. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't fucking matter what I pick anyway, because it's... Never mind. <laughs> uh, you can choose whatever vulnerability. It doesn't matter. Oh, you, no. <laughs> and why not? You Cause... missed your last attack. It didn't save, so... Well, because as soon as uh, it's, its turn is next, and as soon as it takes its turn, that vulnerability goes away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't matter what I pick. <laughs> so, is that the end of your turn? Yep. All right. It's now that Geist's turn. It's mad that you hit it with a flaming ball of spike. An 18 hit. Yeah. Nine poison damage and make a DC ten con save. Uh, Why is Altendorf's character sheep just keep going up? There it goes. Con save? Yes. Ooh. You pass. So you're not poisoned. Oh thank God. <laughs> Vermeer. I'm going to punch. That's oh my God. definitely a hit. I don't know where the plus two comes from. Oh, it's because it's a crit. Oh, okay. So then. If if it didn't die from six damages, my nope. extra my extra attack is gonna hit him. That's a hit for eight. That was beautiful. It's still up. And then my bonus action, I'm going to roll a d100. D roll a d100. <laughs> you you punch in like the. The phantom limb, like, just like, <clears throat> like when you go to hit it. It does, I'm it gonna, locks up. It, it like locks up. I'm going to say you have, uh. It has viscera in its, in its joints. Yeah. You, you are missing five feet of movement. Yeah. For the rest of your, for the rest of your turn. Okay. And with that, I'm going to I'm going to move okay. up. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Right click. 
hold hold the left click to make the arrow oh. right click the... okay okay so boop 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 and you're boop. missing five feet of movement so i don't know what your it... total move speed is currently that <laughs> so that's my entire move movement speed since i got my movement speed is 50 so yeah I'm well, as you're running He's gonna yes. make an attack of opportunity and miss. Yes, it does miss. So I stop for a second and then whoosh, right there. All right. Start of the attack. round. You guys see if my thing will load. Hey, oh, that's why. <clears throat> Two more geists appear. Don't be dumb. As these geists don't seem to be stopping from coming out of the bodies on the ground, the moving whatever mold, mildew, viscera mixture on these pillars, they just seem to keep coming as the spirits keep falling from the sky. Um, on this one. Uh, it's not your turn. Oh, there's a geist that actually rolled higher than me, but I had a nat 20. That was a natty 20. He also got a natty 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they still go before us, even though they're just starting. They're, they're, they're spawning in, in a sense. They have technically have been there and are coming out, but as they spawn, they get their initiative. There. So this one is going to fly up to Mr. Stables, uh, use its bonus action to go material, and swipe at Mr. Stables. Does does anybody have anything they would like to use to make that crit not crit? It doesn't matter. I'm not within range. Yeah, I am. How are you not within? So, Silver I barbs is thirty feet. It's sixty feet. Sixty feet. And Mr. Stables is at forty five with me. So that is not a crit. <laughs> The 20. At least it was not a good. Who are you giving the advantage to? Uh, Stabbles. Stabbles gets the secret. Gets the advantage? Yeah, gets the, adva gets the advantage. And three of those. Because I used a divine point last turn, so that's nine. Minus three is six, and I'm going to go ahead and uncanny dodge again, giving me a total of three damage. Yeah. Okay. Can I, can I free speech when, I, when it's not my turn? I will let you use your reaction to free speech when it's not your turn. Okay. I want to use my reaction to free speech now. <clears throat> Mr. Stabbles, retreat to the doors. Because the last direct, the last directive I gave Mr. Stabbles was to engage. Yeah. If I didn't say anything, Mr. Stabbles will continue to engage. Because I know how guys play. <laughs> you would be correct. <laughs> uh, 
All right, Kelsifer's turn. Okay, this one is going to take a boom shard to ah. the face. That's a hit. That is a. Uh... a hit. This one was in its physical form, yeah? Which one? I don't think he was. No, I actually, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think he was in his ethereal still. He never changed. Okay, so he just dies. You watch as the bone shard literally just, like, flies through its face and, like, leaves a gaping hole as the etherealness just kind of dissipates. It's this guy's turn. This one was physical. Uh, no. It's going to use its bonus action to go ethereal. And swing at Bane. Misses. Bane. It is your turn. It's going to use its reaction to swing at you and miss again. Sweet. Oh. All right. <laughs> I'm going to cast a spell. I believe you can still cast while you're in the behemoth form, so... I believe so, too. So... 10 foot radius around me. Uh, so 15, yeah. There. Everyone but one is trapped in a cage. <laughs> But I can open and close the cage as needed to let you can, people in or out. You can That's use your reaction. Yeah. So that means if Mr. Stables leaves and you use your reaction, you won't be able to let anyone else in or out. Leave. Yeah. Because your reaction is used. Right. Anything else? No. That's pretty much it. I... I'll, yeah, I'll tell everyone, get out of the cage, get to the door. As a massive cage of bones <laughs> come out of the ground. Okay. Mr. Stables. Okay. Um, well. This one. That's a hit. It is 19. dead. All right. Uh, now, question. Yes. It is half movement to pull someone. Yes. If I were to 
grab a hold of the member of the church and drag them with me, could we both exit the bone cage together? Or would it cut my arms off? If I'm I'll allow it. Them. I'll allow it. Okay. Disengage. Bonus action. Grabbing. Uh, so that's 10. 20. 30. Uh, so essentially, Elfendorf, you're coming with me. If you don't resist. Wait, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Husk has surrounded enemies. Needs room to work. Parameters fulfilled. Moving towards door. You must as well. So, just as a heads up, the osseous cage cannot move. Correct. It, it is a physical barrier. I gathered that. Correct. Yeah, it okay. doesn't follow me. I know that. As it's, okay. a, it's a cage of cartilage and bones. And yeah. he let he let me out as I was dragging you, so I was removing it from like, the cage so the husk can go to work. The 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 bones kind of like bow out where you guys are leaving, and as you get out, they start to close in on Altendorf, but you're able to pull him through before they fully close. And it is now Altendorf's turn. Uh, which I'm guessing Bane would have used his reaction to allow that to happen. Skeletor. Skeletor. Sorry, wife was talking. What's going on? I'm assuming you would have used your reaction to allow that to happen. Yes, that is okay. correct. Yeah. Altendorf. Oh. I am going to cast a cantrip. Uh, which one? This one. Needs to make a wisdom save. Yes. It fails, it dies. <laughs> See? <laughs> Mr. Stavels, you just hear a bell pull, and then this thing let out a shriek and just wither and die. Church bells. <laughs> <As I'll... laughs> the church bells sounded. High alert status engaged, and suddenly, like the the eyeballs, the human eyeballs, you watch like almost disappear into angry looking slits as metal coverings. Like like metal eyelids basically come up over them. Proceeding to defend church. Still has a hand on you, but at the same time, you can just like I'm not going to resist if you just like decide to bolt past me through the, to the doors. Yeah, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 3540. That is the end of Altendorf's turn. Oh, wait. Bonus action. Uh, I'm going to extinguish the cradle. Okay. And th then it's my end of my turn. It's this guy's turn. Yeah, I is wish it's... he was faster so he could have been in here too. <laughs> Uh, as it's still in its ethereal form, mm -hmm. it can move through other creatures and objects as if they were difficult terrain. So it spends 10 feet of movement to move through the bones. Mm -hmm. How could this happen? And then flies over at you and proceeds to swipe at you and misses. And misses. Vermeer. Uh, there's well, I, there's really nothing for me to do since I don't have anything that's long range. 
So I'm going to move up towards the church doors and knock on the door. As you knock on the door, the sounds of the fighting grow silent. All the sound vanishes throughout the plaza. The fleshy mold stops writhing and shaking. Yeah. Time stops for a brief moment. Suddenly, a massive skeletal figure emerges from the darkness on top of the church walls, wielding a great sword as large as a person. Oh, the creature's oh. body appears to be made of shadows, moving with silent, deadly grace. Its eyes glint with an unearthly light as it surveys the area, opening its jaws as the air before it ripples with a deafening silence. five pages. You're lucky to get a sentence. This thing is literally sitting on top of the walls. Well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Would you like to try and open the door? I'll, I'll give you that for free. Um, sure. Okay, the door opens. Ooh, the door opens. Um, I'm going to walk into the church. I, or I can walk in the doors and I guess see what's up. As you go inside, the uh, you're not really entering a church per se. It's more of a uh, like a church, originally church-owned small town, but that has still kind of slightly been overcome by the curse that has affected this area, but it doesn't seem like the Revenant can make its way inside of this place. As it still is sitting on top of the doors, like the wall. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell uh, the party to hurry up and get indoors. <laughs> I don't want to fight that thing right now. And then... I, I don't know what else to do, so I guess I'll end my turn. I don't know. Oh, at beginning of the round. We should probably go ahead and take our break here. Yes. Sounds like a... Yeah, because it's we, 10. We will take our break as... uh. More geists spawn. Of course. Why wouldn't there be more? I was hoping that cage would work out better than it did. That it went right through the sun bitch. If it wasn't ethereal, it would have been fine. I know. Hey, at least it has.
That made him smile. I saw it. And we're back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed your break. Start of the turn. At beginning of the turn, uh, everyone heard Vermeer basically call out, "Time to go. Time to move. Let's let's make a move on." Yes. And, uh, scary monster alert. Scary monster alert. We had a couple more geists spawn in. Because it doesn't seem to be stopping. Whether it's the effect of the shattered moon, whether it's the effect of the corpses all laid around. Or so just the for... random blood pit just chilling with all the dead bodies. So this geist is going to swing its ghostly hand at Bane and actually hit for once. Yay! And a d4, right? 12 cold damage. And it takes the d4 of piercing. And so does his buddy, doesn't he? Yes, it does. around me. All right, and I need to make a con save for cold. Uh, con save or have your maximum hit points reduced by 12. Your maximum hit points are reduced by 12. All right. I got that in the notes, and now I need to remove... You don't regain those back. Yep. I have, it written, okay. I have it written down. Elsifer. Hmm. Um, this, this one, since I can still see it, I believe it's within my range. I would say you'd be able to see it since you're... Oh yeah, that's 60 feet. That's a it's miss. A miss. So it I'm also going it, to... it gets so. three co covers quarter though while it's inside that cage. It affects both enemies and allies. But you can make another ranged spell attack. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. And you miss. And that's a miss. <laughs> that's all I do. Oh, oh wait, no, sorry. Uh, eh, eh. I'm going to get under the thing. All right, this geist is going to fly in and get stuck in the corner because of the movement penalty mm. and use its bonus action to go physical. This geist is going to stop and go physical right at the edge of the bone cage. All right, disengage. Action dash, reaction, all of it. <laughs> yep. So I'm going to disengage for my action. I'm going to use my 25 movement, and I'm going to use my reaction to open and close the door for me to get through. Uh, oh, yeah. It's action disengage because you can't bonus. Nope. Okay. Mr. Stables. And wait, I gained 6 HP. You don't because you're at your capped hit points right now, aren't you? No, I'm not. 
your maximum hit points was reduced by 12? Yep, which puts me down to 19. Okay. So I'm at max HP. <laughs> 11. I only gained 2 HP from it, so. Yeah. But, hey, that 2 might count. <laughs> okay. Did Vermeer go into the church? Yes. Yep. Or, or through the door, at the least. Or Calcifer. Did Calcifer go through the door? Or did Calcifer just stand there after missing? Uh, both of them are in the door. Okay. Um. Let's see here. 10, 20, 30, 40, let go, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay, so unless they resist, I am dragging here. Here, here, here. Seize Altendorf. Let's Husk go here. Grab, well, free action. Uh, well, I think I'd already free action stowed my sword again, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got a free hand to do all this. Drop unceremonious, unceremoniously. Grab into the door as far as we can can dragging Altendorf instead. Oh wait, it's Altendorf's turn next. So that would actually this would actually be happening at the same time. I will continue to drag the husk then. But we can still get to here. So into the area. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm using action I'm using movement dash action bonus action dash. So okay. That's half my movement to get right. I was right here, so uh boop boop boop. Yeah, uh to get okay, with but I also had five feet of like ten feet of movement before I could start dragging him, so that would be a little farther. That would be there. Okay, so where I am is where I'm, like, Mr. Stabbles grabs the now freed husk and just starts pulling. You guys are pretty Ob much... Objective retrieved. Taking all consorts of the church inside. Yeah. Only person not inside the doors is Altendorf. And speaking of, it's Altendorf's turn. Good move, Skeletor. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the uh. dead. It fails. Is there any damage? Yeah. We're fifth level now, right? Yep. Yes. Yes. 2d12. Yep. And it's still standing. It's just a, it's just a parting gift. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that and cage has a lot of HP. They'll be in there. F well, not really. They won't be in there that long. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. It was a good idea. It, it was a great idea. I'm proud of you for trying to do that. I'm sorry that it didn't work as good as you wanted it to. Yeah. I slowed him down, though. That's all that matters. Hey, those are high numbers. So it works. <laughs> those are high rolls. Uh, as you guys all enter the door, the doorway shuts by itself behind you. As you hear sounds come back alive and you hear the wailing of the large lunar revenant as it starts banging on the door 
I should have cast uh, Beast Detective. All the Dead on the uh, Lunar Revenant. That would have been great. Beast Detected. Engaging. Goes to open yeah. the door. <laughs> uh, are you actually? No, Mr. Stabbles announces this, and then his hand starts going towards the door. Cleric, control your mannequin. Altendor, oh, that's that's your yeah. that's your cue. Oh, <laughs> and I'm so very tempted just to see what happens. The the uh <laughs> like the the short bow is being. <laughs> is is being put back on the back and one hand starts reaching for the door but as soon as that stops the, then the right hand stops and instead of getting the door out pops the whip blade and you watch as it snaps and you watch his body seize up and then his left hand like his body, entire body straightens up and you see that whip all the pieces have come together and he reaches for the door. Mr. Stabbles, stand down. We need to rest before we engage any more Aww. beasts. So, in the location you guys are currently in, it's almost like a, a small guard oh, tower. Yeah. You are... In a small building surrounded by windows on the inside of the wall, uh, you're able to see out into the open expanse of the area, not the plaza that you just left, but through a small little town almost. And you can see the actual church, the chapel in the distance. Mm. Which I'm just gonna move you to the next map. Uh, you guys are all the way on the bottom. All the way over here. You're you're inside. Just like this space in here. This is looks like a safe area that you are located in. Yeah. And you can hear, every so often, you can hear the banging, which is extremely muffled for how large the Lunar Revenant was. All right, sorry, I was just figuring out how much uh, damage I need to take for that. For what? Uh, my weapon. You have yourself. One. Uh, no, I take 1d4 piercing damage as soon as I oh. transform it. Oh, that's right, yeah. So, like, it... it Fuck it, like, every time. But it's basically, like, it's not damage like a lot of people would take. But more, like, it creates two new puncture holes on Mr. Stabble's arm, and you see a line that's been growing of new, like, perfectly <laughs> symmetrical holes lining up down his arm. Where it sinks into the where it like bites through, pierces through the metallic plating itself. I see. Where do we where do we drop off? And then he relaxes. Bottom right. right. Bottom right. Bottom right. 
He relaxes, he goes, and the thing just, and the sword itself relaxes back into a whip. Oh, that's so far over. I didn't see the map. <laughs> they sound like the map was damn. Okay. Couldn't I was going to say something really mean. <laughs> So, you guys are, like, in this little, not so little, though, vestibule, this room between doors. And you're able to see the expanse laid out in front of you. And you can see all the way over here. A bridge leading up to the church. Uh, does that lunar revenant seem to be yeah, making right. headway through the door, like at all, it, or is the whole door holding firm? The door closed behind us. Well, oh, that's what, right. what you can tell. the The door seems to be holding firm. Uh, the door seems to be supported by more than just natural masonry. It would it hold long enough for us to take a short rest? Roll a arcana. Eh. You could definitely take a long rest. Hell, uh, with how well it seems to be holding up, you might even be able to take a long rest. Uh, we should probably take a long rest. Altendorf is out of spell slots, out of channel divinity, out of HP. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> but more monk. More monks related injuries. <laughs> and Corey, this, I should say. This guard like barracks in a sense seems to have been left in a hurry uh, a bunch of stuff has been left here a bunch of stuff has it's not really messy or anything like that it just seems expeditiously vacated there's with a little bit of exploring just in this small area, you can see there's like a small uh, resting area with some beds, some bunk beds. There's like a small dining area. Like picture a a shared living space for a group of up to ten people. Ah. Good. <laughs> Altendorf will make steak. Mr. Stadel eat steak? <laughs> what? Does Mr. Stabbles eat steak? No. Mr. Stabbles cannot consume steak. What Mis does Mr. Stabbles consume? Mr. Sta Mr. Stabbles <laughs> consumes love and faith and ideals of the church. Insert here. You do find a uh, what looks like canned goods, but they have like a metallic structure with a spout coming out of it on its label, with like droplets coming out of the spout. I got it. I, entering yeah, self diagnostic. Entering self diagnostic mode. Scanning. Uh, Mr. Sabbles sits. <laughs> In like kind of a like an almost monastic uh like peace position. Welcome and to you world. watch as like all, all of day. the like little bits of armor plating kind of lock in and you see just this like this almost rushing of air with like tainted by divine light emanating from his chest and his metallic 
eyelids close over his human eyeballs. I can never get a read on that guy. <laughs> oh well. Well, because do the we rest of you fancy food. some food? I have some amount of cooking skills. By the way, where's our other friend? Self-diagnostic scan complete. Innocent beast hunter civilian saw themselves to safety. Last unit was, was made aware. Fly? Beginning repair sequence. No, and nice. Mr. Subble Savile shuts down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the other one that came with us. I believe their name was. Octot? Oh, uh, uh, you have heard Mr. Savills refer to them as, uh, as innocent civilian beast hunter. Oh, I thought you were referring to the guy in the... No. In the first... Okay. Would anyone like to, uh, search the area before... Yes. You know, completing... Of course. A long rest in <laughs> perception. Altendorf is just going to start cooking, so Altendorf Perce cannot. Perception or investigation, your choice. Um, nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing. Nothing seems trapped. Nothing seems out of place. It doesn't look like there's anything here that has been placed to put you in harm. But you do see on a small desk by the door leading to the exit. Mm -hmm. a, a small little letter that has a dwarven like stamp on it. Okay, I, I grab the letter and read it. Or can I even read it? Uh, you open the letter and written in common is a letter from Octot basically saying, hey, I made it this far. I wanted to check out ahead to make sure that everything was fine and we're safe. This place okay. seems safe. Go ahead and rest. I pass the word on to everyone about Octot and the letter. <laughs> sure, it would have been nice for them to help out with the fight, but whatever, at least they're okay. Anybody got fax noises for Ms. L Mr. Savile's response? <laughs> Just dial up. <laughs> the person you are trying to reach is no longer available. Bob, get off the phone! A completely different <laughs> voice comes out. Stop us! What was it? Stop us repair sequence. Still functioning. Thank you. Alright, for the first hour... I'm doing that. Find a familiar. You would be able to find a brass brazier in uh in this small guard check. There seem to be like your basic supplies of casting materials. There's like basic training weapons. Uh, a lot of like your run-of-the-mill, highly, quickly manufactured, quick repair, all that kind of stuff. Right. There's a small smithing, there's a small uh, little workshop table, nothing to be able to enhance past, like, any sort of magical point, or, like, to increase the efficacy of like your armor and stuff like that, but if there's like any minor damages, it you would have the stuff to be able to make minor repairs here. Okay. I'd like to find an owl.
you don't have to find it right now. But pretty much while we're resting, I'm gonna have the the owl on uh, lookout. Yeah. To alert me if anything dangerous. I really like it if it gave me the accessibility for the owl, but it doesn't. So whatever. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> What sounds like printer noises are now coming from Mr. Stabbles. Just ding, uh, ding, uh, ding, uh, ding, uh. but like you know, kind of softer, muffled. Uh, would anybody be annoyed by Mr. Stabbles's? Oh, it's soft enough. It's like a, it's okay. like a well insulated printer. Okay. <laughs> uh, for Altendorf, for your cooking, I would like you to roll me a. I'll say medicine. You make decent food. You, uh, some of the food you find doesn't look, like, expired. Like, there's a dry ice chest to keep some perishables cold to make them last longer. Uh, they, they don't, you find some items that don't look like they may taste the best, but you're able to find some spices and ingredients. Uh, maybe some stuff from some of your, like, some magical components that you're able to turn into edible things to enhance the flavor of the food that you're cooking. Hashtag guidance. <laughs> I, I will say that it's the same effect. Fair basically you're not you're not making someone get sick from eating undercooked or bad food alright well after I'm done cooking I pass out the uh, the the food to everybody who does actually eat and uh <laughs> <laughs> so everyone can get a long rest as well as a level up oh yeah hey 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 right, let's see level up it's probably a bad idea and for the cooking with the guidance everyone is going to get your cleric level is it are you full in cleric uh, yes so i'll say everyone gets 10 temporary hit points after their long rest for the delicious meal that altendorf has cooked with the usage of some mm, Spices that were taken from a component pouch. I will say, though, when you finish doing what you're doing, specifically Mr. Stebbles, I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. What? 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 Nothing harmful. 
But this uh, is uh background related. Oh, if it's against if it's against madness or anything like that, nope. I have advantage. I have an incorruptible mind. Nope. Because it's background know, related. My mind Specifically is not mine. For your character. Background related. Uh, 22. Okay. Uh, roll me a d4. Uh, uh. Well. Oh. Sorry. I'm just gonna go with the first one. There we which go. Is, I, that works. It's the same <laughs> thing. Uh, you find a a tug from your core, from your spiritual essence, the symbols, the scripture that was written into your coding. Uh, 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 wait, hold on. Is it that or is it the core? Yes, it's or, that. Hold on. The, or is it from the eye, the back of my eyeballs? Where is the thing written? The okay. That? The the programming is in the core. However, the creator, like Mr. Stables' creator, that's the back of the eyeballs. Who, whoever is... that they put for you to, you know. Like, I guess that'd be the back. That'd be the back of the eyeballs, then. I okay, guess. Okay, because it it would be his creator. Again, I I I don't remember if I told you. As as for the creator, you get to decide who they are and what their designs are. I just know that I was ordered to. I was ordered by them to distinctly have prime directive follow church orders. Second directive help innocents. So any any civilian can request my help, and any member of the church has prime directive order capacity. <laughs> you also had that you had to follow a specific person, like that attachment. Well, yeah, that that any member of the church or any innocent civilians, uh, like beast hunters. That's why Octot was okay. For me yeah. to follow, and I'd followed them in the past and helped them. Yep. Uh, but for like Altendorf, Altendorf bears a symbol of the church. Ergo, yep. has like affiliation with what my creator told me to do. Technically, everyone in the party does, in a sense, because they're assisting you on your journey. Uh, but I have a little twist that I haven't told you, which is why I'm having you roll these wisdom saves. Okay. And... Well, then it would my the back of my uh, the back of the eyeballs would start scratching. So halfway through the full diagnostic repair sequence that he has to go through, which takes just as long as anybody else's long rest. By the way, I don't. It's not the elven bullshit. Don't worry. This is a full like six <laughs> to eight hours. Uh, suddenly the eyes, just, like the eyelids fucking just start going haywire, head starts kind of like twitching back and forth. What, what What's up? Uh, you feel a pull in a different direction. Oh? Yeah. Yeah, you, uh, <laughs> during your diagnostic sequences, you get flashes of creatures. Monsters. Oh. You get Please. flashes of a person putting walls up in front of spirits. You get flashes of a group of entities doing rituals. You get flashes of a grove becoming corrupted. And someone taking that corruption and using it to fight back against it. You now have a pull towards Bane. Ah. Well, Bane was already a member of this, of the church's, uh... uh yeah. yeah, but you weren't thrilled with Bane because he 
trying no. to eat a door and threaten people. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> no. I mean, I was fine with it. Matter of fact, I tried to help you. <laughs> yeah, but you have more of a following now for Bane. Yeah, okay. As in your following orders from Altendorf has now switched to Bane. Well, I mean, okay. I'm supposed to follow any member of the church. Yes. As you well. can follow any you can follow any member of the church, but you have a stronger full and need and desire to follow specifically. Okay. This has been changing like every time. Based on roles. From the point of character creation and what you told me and what my initial role was. <laughs> oh, right. I can't wait for you to find out what the twist is. Cool. All right. Done with you were close. Finally. You were close to getting more of a hint with your wisdom save. <laughs> no. but not close enough. I love you, but I yeah. love you, but no. <laughs> My level's very done. Anybody need help with this? Get him. No, I'm done. I got mine. Sixth level should be pretty pretty simple for uh, I think we we will just realize we were supposed to be leveling up. I think no. Koya... no, he already leveled. He rolled. Oh, he just muted to start <laughs> talking. It was fun to watch. I already leveled. Oh, okay. I think sometime during the night, Evangeline would probably, like, come to Altendorf in a dream and be like, Master, I have received new powers. Because she gets something cool at 6th level. I get something cool at 6th level, too, but I'm not going to use it right now. Uh, Calcifer, are you done leveling up? Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys awake. Woo. To oh, a God, loud... God. Sorry. Hold, hold on. Hold on. As Mr. Savills wakes up. Reinforcement and restructuring complete. Added update. Combat healer trait identified. Or combat medic training updated. There you go. That one. <laughs> You guys awake as you hear a loud screeching, a loud grinding, and then just a a pop, like something was in a spot, and then it was no longer in that spot, and then the air collapsed in on itself. From what direction? From behind the door. That like the one, less... <laughs> the one you guys came through. That sounds less than ideal. Perhaps we should move now. An Altendorf just like grabs his equipment and fucking books it. <laughs> He's gonna. Vermeer follows oh, behind, wow. not wanting to know what's at the end of that sound. <laughs> And yeah, we're just going to continue on this way. Scanning update for repairable files. Help. Don't send a report. You guys are good to continue moving on as you see what looks like crosses that are ablaze and on fire coming through this area. The dead trees not degrading, <laughs> but not growing leaves, but still seeming <laughs> thriving. Just swap places. <laughs> Moving forward. Update error. 
Update error. Combat medic. Combat medic training. Corrupted. Only stabilization measures available. Yes. Would you like to send a report? No, don't send a report. Would you like to report defect to church? (laughs) (laughs) Now to sit here for 20 minutes, do absolutely nothing. Anyway, I'd like to do a perception check. Go ahead. Now that we've climbed all the... Yep. I'll do a perception check as well. Damn. My himbo brain is not working right today. No, I... Damn. Would, uh... Mr. Stables like to, uh... Roll perception as well. Anybody want to tell me to use my special eyes? Doesn't matter. Jesus. Don't, don't you have disadvantage on perception always? No. Insight. Insight. Oh, insight. That's what it was. All right. So you guys coming up to the top of this uh, ramp. <laughs> I'll say Altendorf Kai can hear what sounds like claws clicking on the ground and you know small sounds of munching Bane and Mr. Stables notice down this little alleyway you could see the tail end of an animal moving like further down and dragging something with it which way hang on hang on i'm like... moving like away from you oh cool So we can have the drop on this. Finally, a, a, a combat where we don't get fucking jumped on. <laughs> uh, remembering Altendorf's past encounter request, Mr. Stabble's defaults. Ugh. Well. Would anyone like to do anything or wait, if we haven't been spotted You haven't yet. Okay, okay, okay. These the these things seem to be busy with something else. Okay, then all I'm going to do is, like, it, given my perception check, I, I'm going to, like, move here, like, just take a little step as I'm going, like, kind of crouching down and trying to stay out of sight of it to try to give myself line of sight. Down the... Oh, fuck, hold on. I need to... Move, move like five feet at a time as you're that's like this is where i'll like i am kind of between and behind everybody else okay but i'm like trying to kind of garner whatever i can see because i i i can see that like there's shit in the way but whatever i can kind of see along this line that's what you're able to see um and with your perception, you can see it looks like these aberrations, beasts, a mixture of the two, are chewing on what looks like corpses. Uh, 
unknown entities ahead devouring corpses uh, they i'll show you what this thing looks like hey. I, I don't like that <laughs> oh i want i want that as my companion <laughs> fucking reminds me of resident evil 4 doggos yeah. Right? I was just thinking that. Right on. <laughs> and technically your your familiar can find a hound. Oh no. I they can find it. Hey, they can find a doggo. You know, honestly, I think these are still better than the strays in Elden Ring. What am I looking for? Well, if no one else has an idea of what they want to do, I I'm gonna do a drop I'm gonna do a pop shot. Well, I I don't I didn't perceive this. So. Oh, <laughs> uh, kinda... yeah. I, all I said was unknown creatures ahead, uh, devouring corpses. Yeah. So uh, I mean, it's not like I can't do anything. I'm I'm a melee fighter. Stables, my fist are Stables my will... fists are always at the ready. <laughs> okay, Stables will uh will retrieve the bow from his back. And then look up at, uh, like, not look, but essentially he's got his bow drawn, not his sword. And you just watch as, like, there is an arrow already ready as he is preparing to aim from where he's at straight down the alley. Even if you guys don't see that direction, he's prepared, but... Altendorf's previous uh, <laughs> recommendation of well, right now nobody's in danger. So, okay, I don't know how to convey this. You followed the orders of. I'm following the all the, the, the last orders that were given to me, which was stay as sentry as the yes. default. Yes. For an encounter. So he is like he has a bow and an arrow. He has a short bow and an arrow ready. He is ready to, to strike, uh, but he's waiting on literally everybody else to react or give any kind of directive. You're basically the night hawk. You if, were you were watching from the back, if waiting nobody, for the right moment to strike. If no, if nobody does anything <laughs> or says anything, he will just continue to be poised. And then if somebody decides to attack, Mr. Stables will follow suit. Yeah, is, it, is anyone uh, want to do anything before I do a pop shot? I can't yes. do anything. I'm all... Bane, you have your owl out. Or you can edit and use the owl token now. Calcifer is going to tap. Um, how do you, what's your character again? I'm sorry. Kaido, what's your character? Altendorf. Altendorf. Alt, Alt, Altendorf on the shoulder and like. Well, you want to get a, you want to get a, uh, want to get the advantage on this, and you see my arcane energy flare up in his hand, ready to poison, ready to hit. You see radiant energy uh, start building up in Altendorf's hand, and he gives you a what could be considered to people who aren't familiar with service as a sadistic smile uh but for altendorf this is just like a excited smile that he gets to drop on something for once instead okay. of the other way around <laughs> okay well you if you want to take the initiative i'll follow suit and can i do uh can i cast my guiding bolt zavis yeah uh, basically, how you guys are doing this is uh, you're going to be doing like a quote unquote surprise round. Okay. You get you don't get the full turn. Picture this as a reaction attack in a sense. You guys are all preparing together to a single action. Yeah. No movement. Uh, the movement would have to happen before the action. No. <laughs> uh, but you have to be careful because if you move too close, you could alert, and then you would lose that surprise. Yeah. So, so I'm uh, just gonna. So you yeah. go ahead. 
After you guys do your initial attack, I'm going to cast a spell. You just delete us. And I have advantage on this, right? Yeah. Yep. You are technically unseen and unknown. Does a 16 hit? Which one are you going for? This one, the closest one? Yes. Okay, and then mine mine will target the one at the back. Um, that's the one that only Mr. Stabbles has really lined out. Or, and Bane. Oh, so 14, I can't yeah. see that one? No, you can't. You can only see the one that's in front. Oh, okay. Ev- everyone can see the one in front. Uh, Bane and Mr. Stabbles can only see the other one. Okay, well then, I'm going to attack the same one he's going to. Okay. Twenty. Uh, hold on, Bane. God I damn. <laughs> He's we just happy to cast time. spells. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't do oh. this often. I notice, but he does it okay. for Zevis. <laughs> so they give me a choice. So. Altendorf's Guiding Bolt will hit. Calcifer's brittle, brittle Bone Throw will hit, but that is then removing the highlight from Guiding Bolt. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Get stabbed, motherfucker. Oh. And Mr. Stabbles misses. <laughs> Can I use my inspiration to let Mr. Stabbles roll again? Yes. But you don't get advantage. You're still hidden, so like I'll, I'll allow the sneak to happen, but like... Okay. Yay! <laughs> and so that that definitely hits and that's just a regular short bow so as all of these attacks hit 21 and then 29 plus 14 is 33 not bad. Yeah. Uh, the dog lets out a yelp as the whole area is then lit up by the fairy fire. Right. And the rest of the pack howls as they then turn. And all start yeah, looking for, at you guys. They have to do a um save. I, I gotta leave the dog yeah. out, so I'll be right back. That's a deck save, right? Yes. Yep. That's one pass, one fail. Yep. One. I'll use. Very fire. <laughs> All right, now I'll do my initiative. I must have just taken <laughs> average when I fucking rolled when I had, was on the. Really don't. I fucking forgot. Okay. Uh, fuck. Okay. Twelve it is. All right, now how do I roll initiative for these animals with advantage? Uh, okay. Right click, hit, manually add turn. And then just roll two d twenty, and then edit the uh, thing. You can, you can, uh, you you can actually open 
the character. I don't remember how to do it. You can open the NPC or monster sheet, essentially, with a cog wheel on the top right. And you should be able to edit it from there to give it advantage on initiative, and then it'll handle it. Uh, it'll handle it automatically for you. So, uh, fuck. So, uh, on like you've got the the NPC character sheet, like the the monster character sheet open, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on like towards the top right of the character sheet itself not the like yep. not the extra shit there should be a cog yep. Yep. uh yeah this, it I should have an option power. to advantage on initiative <laughs> that be under attributes and abilities no um it would, like it would be <laughs> on oh it maybe no yes 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 yes, yes, yes it would where, where God, is why it? does that hurt so uh, much? It it might be it might be listed as advantage initiative, in which case it might have an N changed to a Y. Uh, it might be on initiative under initiative advantage, marked N should say Y. I'm not seeing any of those options. Are the characters are the NPCs themselves supposed to have advantage on initiative? Yes. As per their character sheet? Yes. Roll one really quick. We get out of this screen. Uh, close down the cog you opened Bench. up. Okay. Let's just highlight one and see what happens. Start with this one. Nope. Okay, so roll it again. Well, that one has a 12. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to be double rolling them all. There you go. Hey, you don't have to change anything for that one. You do have to change the 16 to a 21. Oh, it's Jesus Christ. All right. Yeah, they have the protective instinct. If the hound is not blinded, it has advantage on its initiative roll. All right, so start of the turn and... Bane, you can get rid of that fairy fire square. So they only acts upon cast. They can't walk through it and I can do it. Haha. -ha. Yeah, Skeletor <laughs> I don't think I think Skeletor said be right back and never came back. Oh. Well, it's this rebel hound. One on the side who saw his buddy get shot by the uh, the service in front. Going to run and charge at Altendorf. Which... First the bite. So the nineteen hit Altendorf. Negative, my good sir. A nineteen does not hit Altendorf. Negative, my good sir. No, I'm kidding, it does it does hit me. I has not a shield yet. Once I has a shield, then a nineteen will not hit me. All right. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah. That's one thing my character should have that he doesn't. Uh, I will allow you guys to have shields. There were shields in the, the guard barracks. Okay, then yeah, I'll totally... I, that does not hit. <laughs> I asked then, and you said nothing worth 
being a shield. Oh, I did not hear you say shield. I said it had all the basic stuff for repairs, replacements, oh. like no no upgrading, but like a small stash of shields, small stash of sword swords, small like guard barracks things. Yeah, all I wanted was just a basic kite shield. Yeah. So if okay, then a nineteen doesn't hit you. No, nineteen would not hit. Okay. Twenty one does though. Yeah, twenty one would hit me. Oh my god, that's a tentacle. <laughs> Thirteen plus my armor. Oh, does, your subclass gives you access to shields, right? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Sanctified champion. I'm proficient with martial art, weapons, medium armor. Uh, wait. No, oh! I, I have nothing that I have nothing that re that has anything. Saying I can't use a shield. Uh, I thought shields required proficiencies. No, nope. they do require. Yeah, shields require proficiencies. Uh, Zemus, I do mm. actually have a shield equipped. I forgot I only have chain armor, not plate armor. So yeah, both of oh. those would hit. Oh, okay. Uh, well, the first one, I need you to make a DC twelve intelligence saving throw. No. Roll me a D100. Wait, don't do I don't I have advantage? I'm free. It, this is against the madness, right? Yes. Yeah, I have advantage. Oh, so yeah, yeah, you succeed then. All right, second one. Uh, you're grappled. You were bit, so that's. 20 points. Hold on. Yeah. Sorry, my mistake. I thought I had plate armor. You're good. <laughs> huh. Oh, I didn't realize that bite did so much damage. I think these guys' challenge ratings are lower than what they should be. No, I think they're good. D8. All right, so the first two attacks hit. You are grappled. Mm -hmm. uh, as well as you have disadvantage on tack rolls against that hound. Sounds good. And being that you're grappled, it doesn't attack with another tentacle. Uh, So that is the end of its turn. Altendorf. No, that's Vermeer. Or, I mean, Vermeer. <laughs> Brain fart. I was talking to you and. So I want to do a thing. And I want to make sure that I can do it. For description purposes. I want to do that. So adjacent, 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 adjacent. Does that is that is that adjacent enough? So you just have to run next to them. You don't have oh. to like. 
Okay, so I can do this. This. And then go down, 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 and then down. Correct? That, that's what you mean by adjacent? Yeah, adjacent is just running next to. Oh, gotcha. All right, so, well, with that being said, I am going to spend one of my, spend one of my point, my key points to do step a win, which is basically I can disengage or dash as a bonus action this turn. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. Upon using my key point, I can use my scoring vortex. My scoring vortex is, as it states, whenever I use step of wind and move adjacent, I create a vortex of fire around them. They must make a DC saving throw. What's your DC save? The... Should be What's eight. my what? Should be what eight plus proficiency plus wisdom. So my proficiency bonus plus wisdom bonus? Plus eight. Oh, plus eight. So they have to they have to do at least a DC eleven or higher. Or they Your take wisdom mod. My wisdom is plus three. Three plus eight. three, six plus eight. Yes, fourteen. Oh, so they must make a DC fourteen. Oh. Um, DC save throw. Kim's mom. But as old. in. The only reason young people had. Or they take um, fire damage. Are you using the dash or disengage? I'm using the disengage, and with my movement speed, with my movement speed being fifty five, like kind of how I mapped it out, like yeah. what I did the thingy. I can I can essentially go and hit. All four of these within the essence of uh, my disengage movement speed and end up behind this guy here. Yes. While, while activating my uh, scoring vortex. Scorching. Um, scorching vortex, my bad. Um, You're dropping me now, so I was waiting for you to fix it. I'm going to roll four wisdom saving throws. No, dexterity yes. saving throws. It's four dexterity Dex saving throws for the first one, and if they fail, they're surrounded. And if they try and leave, they have to roll the wisdom saves. Yes. So I'm going to start from the top and work my way down to the first one. So it's eight plus your wisdom modifier plus your Failed. proficiency. Yes, yeah, 14, so that's a fail. So this one is surrounded by fire. Simple. This one. Yeah. That passes. This one. Passes. Passes. This one. Fails. This one. Surrounded by fire. Well, we have um, advantage on the first. So if they fail, they take a one. No. They take two D six fire. Yes. Two D six fire. Roll me two D six. Did that do a thing? No. Um two D six two. Oh, so they take five fire. The two that succeed still take two. And since I spent uh, my key point, um, my uh, my dance of fire activates, so I get a, I I can do that as my bonus. Uh, with that being my bonus action, I still have my action bonuses, so I am going you still to your action. Yeah. Yeah. I am going to phantom strike. You know, what does your dance of fire do again? Uh, it adds it adds uh, three fire to all my attacks mm -hmm. upon spending a key point. All right, that uh, that phantom limb hits. Let's 
so it takes 17 damage. Plus... No, the 2d6 is the Scorching Fire. Oh. Oh! oh. It did it itself. That's... Wait, hold up. I'm sorry, did I, did I click put, my modifier? Put dancing, fire, put dancing Fire in the chat. Dance of Fire. Um, Actually, I'm just going to open your character sheet real quick. Bam. Extra file to fire damage and you gain a bonus. Okay. Oh my god. Half your wisdom mod for the duration. So you have a plus one to your AC. Yep. All the time because I never switch my weapons out. I never uh I, I never uh yeah. switch my weapon. So yes. Yeah, so they they take uh ten ten points of damage. Okay, so should I get rid of my Scorching Vortex global yeah. modifier? Yeah, it's not a global mod. That's a one-time roll. Oh, then why, did it, why is it added in my so global damage modifier? I'm kind of the, confused. The plus three from Dance of Fire. Uh, the Scorching Vortex, I don't know why they there have that as a global modifier. But, yeah, so yeah. ten. Yeah. Okay. That's weird. Yes, oh, you get two attacks with your action, so... Yes, so there's that one, and it's he's going to punch again. That's a miss. Damn. <laughs> I'm going to go in. Uh, the vortex is opaque and constructs line of sight. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> since it's trapped in the vortex, a, can't I'm, it I'm not see where the not punches that. are coming <laughs> from? Correct. So this so, is a 15 hit ten. Well, can he see through the fire? <laughs> oh. Wait, hold on. Vortex is opaque and obstructs line with sight. If the target attempts to move out of the flames. Oh, yeah. So probably not. So he'd probably have disadvantage at the same time. Do you? I don't know how that one, how that it, would work. It would just oh. even out, so the 11 wouldn't hit. Yeah, it, the 15 <laughs> wouldn't hit either, so it doesn't matter. Oh. No, I'm not but, I'm not going to. But, uh, it's, <laughs> it's basically surrounding just the single target, so I'm unsure of how to rule it. It's not like darkness, where it's an area, it's a single tar target opaqueness. So being that you're a monk and you're punching... I'm not going to give you disadvantage. Well, either way... You're just going to have disadvantage on attacking out of it. Yeah, so, like, either way, like, the Vortex... It, I... I'm... Well, I mean, technically, I could... I could probably... I should... I probably would be able to see it, considering. It's a weird... But anyway, now that that's all situated, I'm going to end my turn there since I do not have a bonus action since I used it to do that fire thingy. Right, well, the hound doesn't like being in the fire and is going to move out and it doesn't know which way to go because it's surrounded by a swirling vortex of fire. to make a wisdom saving throw in order to move out of the flames. Correct. And it fails. So it is now charmed by the fire, and its movement speed is zero. Pretty fire. Sweet. <laughs> it also takes 1d6 fire damage. Do you want to roll me a d6? Uh, it takes five fire. Oh, okay. So I, I don't have to click on the dice. I can... Okay. I see where I messed up the last time. Right. I thought I had to click on the, uh, the dice to add oh. the plus two 
That's why you saw me roll th three times. <laughs> All right, so this wolf is going to run forward. Run up to... Mr. Me. Stables, because I got shot by the arrow. Let's see to try and bite. Um. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. You have advantage on your int save. Oh yeah. Uh, but also. Target Uncanny is dodge. Grappled. Yeah. Yeah. So that's seven. Yeah. Boop. And then intelligence saving throw. Oh, I'm proficient in this. That's a whole hell of a success. Nice. Then going to it's, swing a ton of... It's uh, got me grappled, I guess? Yes. Okay. It's then going to uh, wing a tentacle over to Calcifer because its Not tentacles have, have reach. reach. Bullshit. Uh, <laughs> tentacles have reach. And it's. You are now also grappled. Damn. <laughs> Bane, it is your turn. So what does that mean? Uh, your Ram movement speed is zero. That's you it. also have disadvantage on attack rolls against this hound. So since everything decided to be up close, I'm going to use my wild shape. And move to there. Altendorf. You are currently being grappled by a hound, which is up in flames. I'm not going to say you take the damage. Bonus action, spiritual weapon. They had a spiritual weapon image. Or I'm muted, by the way. Shit. <laughs> I'm just drawing a a a sword there. Because yeah, I, I don't, there's not a. Uh... Hey, is Rachel F it's going to roll to hit this one, the one that's got me grappled? Okay. That's a hit. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> is it still alive? Oh, yeah. Well, then I'm going to toll the dead on it now. <laughs> Wisdom save. Uh What? You can't see it. I can't see the one that's on fire. It's no. It's in one that it's engulfed in an opaque, opaque, opaque wall of flame. Even though it's it, literally latched onto. Oh me. right, there is a part of it that's latched onto him. Yeah. Okay. Which is why, which is why I'm allowing <laughs> that to go through. 
yeah. you basically you can see the part of it attached to you, and that's good enough for you to go bell. <laughs> it succeeds. Yeah, fuck it. Look at that nat nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nat 20 minus one <laughs> yeah they have shitty wisdom good to know now guys yeah uh, that's all i'm doing okay uh mr stabbles you guys seen it latched on to the arm that has the short bow in it yeah yeah because you shot him with that bow and so, like, with the arm out in front and grab, like, there's a moment of work, work, and then just other arm, <laughs> whip sword comes out, and with a quick, like, flourish of the wrist of, like, completely mechanical, the hand spins on its own, just, and the whip comes across it. And you have advantage because it has fairy fire. Mm-hmm. Beast activity. Quarantined. Woo! 17 hit. <laughs> Good thing for a uh, 17 <laughs> does hit. <laughs> That's oh, that's only twelve. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> yeah, you know what? Bonus action, divine point. Again. There you go. Should have saved my sneak dice. Uh, oh, well. honestly, though, but you get the extra D four from the. Yeah. Double hitting him, so uh, I get the extra four d four. So that's nineteen. Do 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 do. Yeah, nineteen. This thing is looking rough. And I gain my wisdom modifier in temporary hit points. Because I spent a divine point, so suddenly the like the armor starts growing. My turn. That's good. Get, get some light shining underneath the plates. Oh yeah, there's a there's a dull glow happening on Mister Stabbles right now. Lucifer. Um, you are grappled. Your speed is zero. And this thing has you. Yes. Yeah. Um. Ignis! <laughs> <laughs> well, in this case, it's kind of Ignis, but it's Inis. <laughs> oh, that's a hit. Nice. As you give it the evil eye and it just... Is it still alive? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna... No. That's it, that's all I do. I don't want to become the ire of the other three beasts. Uh, you could always, you know, quick and do it again. Oh, wait, no. Well, yeah, I could. But I'm going to... Uh, Bonus action, trick my weapon. Okay. Uh, what happens when you do that? If I remember correctly, your weapon does something to you when you do that. I take 1d4 necrotic damage every turn. 
every uh, F. So obviously not this turn. My next turn, I'll take one D four. Yeah, I think. Each time you shift the weapon or start your turn, you take one D four. So you take the one D four now. Oh, okay. D four. I take four. Four necrotic. I really need to come up with a way to negate that somehow. Uh, the ravenous gazer that is surrounded by fire wants to leave the fire. Uh, it is going to. How dare these things have my weapon name? <laughs> Going to uh, try and leave the fire. Going to make a wisdom save. It's going to fail its wisdom save, become charmed, speed drops to zero, and takes a d6 of fire. Also lets go of Altendorf, as it just kind of goes limp. It's charmed, yay! Dancing pretty fire. D6 of fire. Two. That was the first one to come up. That's the one we shot the fuck out of. No, no, the one you shot the fuck out of is the one that's standing in front of you. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, it is now Vermeer's turn. I'm going to gray charge this one here. Okay. Um, if you move okay. at least 20 would, feet towards it, would, it. Yeah, it would cost you five feet of movement back first. Yep. But yeah. Yeah, back up and then. Back up oh. and ram them. So, if so you need to... plus my proficiency bonus. You need so, to hit yeah. it with a melee attack first. So you got to do your unarmed strike. Bam. Oh, shit. Well, you definitely hit it. So go ahead and do the damage. Uh, it doesn't take the three fire, I don't think. I think that ends at the start of your turn. Um, uh, it's any... Yeah. Blazing uh, performer... Dance of fire. That's Initial right, weapons are active. Until the start of your um, next turn, yes. Question, yes. what's with you rolling all these fucking nat 20s? Holy shit, dude. Roll more, please. I don't know what you're talking about. I've been rolling pretty so, shitty this night. It takes the 11 damage. Yes. Uh, it then needs to make a strength save. So he needs Which, to get a 12. A 14 or higher. Or no, yeah, 12 because your strength. What's your strength mod? 1. So my proficiency is 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 8. So 12. Yeah. So it's got to be the 12. It does not move. Yep. But you have the rest of your attack action. I do. So he's going to get smashed again. And that hits... <laughs> Whoa. Very fire putting in work. Another Don't worry. So four. So then he's gonna spend a key point, mm -hmm. and then he's going to flurry of blows. I believe that lights your fire. It does. So if this hits, it gets the plus three. Yep. So just that hits. So he takes eight. And then one more for flurry of blows. That gives you two. Yep. Yep. That mm -hmm. hits. Yes. Oh, it does. Oh, you have damn. advantage. It was a fairy fire. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're punching so fast it's lighting things on fire. Yeah. Yes. Yep. How fast do you need to slap something to cook a turkey? <laughs> I was gonna be Mister Slapples. Okay. What? What? What's that? What's that, Jojo? Like I don't know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> As he unleashes his flurry of blows, you just hear the you just hear the JoJo in the background. <laughs> All right, it is this one's turn, which the fire ends now. 
Uh, they're charmed for a minute. Oh, it's a minute. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty. I thought it was. It nope. ends. The effect ends when the flames end, and it starts. It's still so inflamed. Tar- at which point the vortex? Yeah. Until the start of its next turn, at which point the vortex and its effects end. Oh, gotcha. So. It can totally come up and hit me now. Yeah. Yep. On a failure, it takes 1d6 fire damage and is charmed by the flames, reducing its speed to zero until the start of its next turn, at which point the vortex and its effects end. Oh. So he's no longer fired. He is no longer on fire. So he is no longer on fire. He's going to look at you as it shakes its head and go, ah. <laughs> That's 22. 12. Make an intelligence saving throw. <laughs> That's a success. Yes. Oh, and also I can't get madness, so... You have advantage on the save, I believe. No, I'm uh, I'm immune to short-term madness. Where's that? But rather, yeah. your body is not the one with you are born with, but rather consequences of those you are. You can only start with the kind of things you have with you. Hold on. Is it Eldritch Curse? You well, still hold know. on. You, you still saved, so... Yeah, you still yeah. take the golf piercing. There he goes. Yeah, you have advantage against saving throws. Ow. Oh, if your alignment is evil, you let the influence you. You have disadvantage. So are you good aligned or evil aligned? Um, I'm chaotic neutral, so that'll be evil. Uh... No, chaotic, chaotic neutral is like mid you gain no so benefit. you have you gain no benefit oh gotcha you don't have advantage or disadvantage gotcha you're lucky bait you standing in my way <laughs> uh so you're currently grappled and you take the 12 and well if it's a dc 12 I got a 16. Yeah, you, you're you yeah. still grappled. You're instantly oh, grappled I'm if saved. it attacks okay. you. Okay. You save against the madness. Okay, yeah. yep, 21 hits. Ah. And then you take another 8 piercing. Okay. The dog that you attacked is going to what? tentacle you and that miss, misses. and go, fuck this, and proceed to... Doot, 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 doot. Hey, oh, oh. What? Yes, go ahead. Oh, oh. I'm going to run over here, uh, and can't get in that space, I'm assuming, with the... Spiritual weapon and proceed to Attack bite. Attack of opportunity from Koya, uh, Vermeer. Yes. Yep, at disadvantage. Why? Oh, actually, it's straight because it has. Uh, fairy fire. Fairy fire. So that hits. It... And it adds the fire. Uh, oh, that's right. So it's it's still turn. Grappled it's... isn't the same as restrained. Grappled is just movement speed is zero. It doesn't come with any constraints on. Oh, nope. Nope. That one. Oh, against it. I've been doing that backwards. That's my bad. Oh. I read that wrong. Uh, so it takes 12 fire. And is then going to proceed to try and bite Bane. And miss. And being that it's not grappling anybody, it's going to <clears throat> pinnacle bane. Wait, yep. I thought it. Oh, right. Yeah. 
hold on. I got barked skin. Yep. You still take the eight. You're still yeah, grappled. Yeah. But these two both take four damage. All three of them should. Uh, it's only a five foot radius, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. All, all, five all yeah. three of them take it, and one uh, friendly. Uh, you can actually have your friendly not take it. You can choose. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll choose my friendly not to take it. <laughs> Probably a good idea. You're going to give Mr. Stabble some really conflicting emotions here. So, this one that has Mr. Stabble's grappled. And Kelsifer. Oh, no. Yeah, Kelsifer grappled, not Mr. Stabbles. Oh, uh, it has Mr. Stabbles grappled, too, by its bite. It can't bite oh. anybody, and it only has one tentacle attack left because it still has one tentacle on Kelsifer. So it has one attack if it decides to attack. Uh, it has a total of five tentacles. So it is going to tentacle at Bane and miss. It's going to tentacle at Bane and hit. <laughs> Bane, go ahead, roll your damage. And instead of grappling anybody, it dies. Nice. Bane, it is your turn. Uh, how much damage did you take since your last turn? 15. Well, you heal 7. Yep. Seven. Okay. So the one that has me tangled up with the fairy fryer, I'm going to attack him. Oh, actually, I need you to roll two oh, yeah, con concentration okay. for fairy. One more. Ah, uh, your fairy fire goes down. Oh, well. All right, I'm still going to attack the same one. It's not okay. going to shroud of everything. That hits. That hits. This one's looking pretty beat up, too. Yeah, the what only druid class that gets multi-attack. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was surprised about. I was like, oh, cool. So that will end my turn. I'm happy where I'm at because I want them to attack me so I can hurt them back. Altendorf. You're muted. Yes, I am. Uh, spiritual weapon. That misses. Crap. And then, I assume I can't see this one because it's on fire. Uh, yes, you are correct. But that not that the one that has some tentacles, so he technically can? You can't see it because it let go from the oh. charm. And told the dead on this. Okay. Roll, roll. No, sir. That is you who must roll. Two D twelve. Mister Stables. A sudden as Mr. Stabbles 
free action, sword sinks back into the arm. As the at like at like as he's drawing his arm back to grab an arrow, it's sinking into the arm. Arrow onto the string. And for the first time, you guys hear something different out of Mr. Savills. Calculating arrow efficiency. As he decides as a bonus action to give himself uh, advantage on this. And... On the one, obviously, he can see. That's a hit. It's that fun. And since he had advantage, he automatically gets sneak. Oh, fuck, I forgot to actually click that on. That's okay, I can just roll that. Oh, nice. Twelve. This thing is like, its eyes falling out, the arrows poking through its ribs. Yeah. It's it's hurt. It literally like struggling to stand up. It's using two of its its free tentacles right now to hold itself up. Elsifer. You currently cannot see either of them if you move there. Here. Here. Okay. Can I see this? Yes. Cool. And I can see the one that's in Guild and Flames too, by the way. See, you can't. Like that. True sight. Oh, yeah. Nope. And uh, with that. No, you still can't because it's fire, it's opaque. It's an object. I don't know if True Sight would be able to see through that. Creatures object automatically detect visual illusions. It's not an illusion. It's literally a wall of fire. Or a vortex of fire. Yes. I'm checking to the floor. Damn. Really? I can't see it, even with your sight. That's so bad. Why don't you just stab the one that's in between you and Bane? Because I wanted to do something cooler than that. Uh, go ahead, and I'll, we'll see. Because you're using the Ravenous Gazer. I'm using a third level spell slot, too. Okay. I'll allow it to happen. Impale. <laughs> All three of them. They need to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, the creature... Is it half on a failed? Uh, much make... Be imp take or, or take 3d10 piercing damage and then be impaled by the spike, becoming restrained and held aloft in five feet in the air during the duration of the creature... Nope, it's saving. saver's luck. All right, so the one closest to you, deck save, fails, dies. Damn. The <laughs> one sad. holding your brother, well, not your brother, but your brother, IRL, deck save, succeeds, no damage. The one in that's harmed, <laughs> it is zero. Not considered trained. It doesn't have disadvantage on the deck save. No, it succeeds. No damage. Yeah. All right. So start of the next round. Uh, and... uh, it's past. It's past time. Would you guys like to finish the combat or be done here? I have finished combat, but I have to go to bed after combat. <laughs> 
even though I work in the morning, I can, it's a Monday, so I can go in a little bit later and not get yelled at so I can sleep in a little bit longer. Kaido has to die, apparently. I have to work in the morning, so dip, how long do you think this combat's going to take? It shouldn't take much longer. There's only the two left. <laughs> okay. There's and just the two left, then we can... And they're pretty hurt. You can yeah. just blitz it. Okay. But yeah, no, I'm good to continue. If it's your guys' decision, if you guys if you guys are good to go, we'll finish the combat. We'll just split the combat. It. Skeletor. I'll finish it, of course. Okay. Uh, the hound is no longer surrounded by fire because it ends at the start of its turn. Is do 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 do. do. Uh. It has the 10 foot reach. And it's going to hit all three of you. I'm the you. <laughs> There's a reason I didn't talk about it. So you came back from the dead. Which is going to tentacle Calcifer. Yeah. Actually, no. Uh... Yeah, no, it's... No, I'm good. Sorry. I I was reading this, and I thought it adds to my AC, but no, it just reduces damage. All right. Uh, I love how you guys <laughs> Nope. Why can't you roll <laughs> it against me? I'm the squishy one. Okay. I don't have Dorf region like, pass. Okay, I remember Kem's birthday. It's a day after I got married. <laughs> yeah, that hit. <laughs> are we grappled again? Uh, both Calcifer and Altendorf are grappled. Ramir, <laughs> you are grappled. Has a disadvantage on it. Well, shit. Um. So what? It's a what? An action to? Yep, for the escape DC. What's their escape DC? 14. 14. Yeah. Acrobatics or athletics of your choice. So just, I'm, I'm sorry, this, for the one that rolled the 14 dexterity saving throw on my ability, or am I, do I scroll up too far? Do I scroll up too far? I have a, I have a 15 uh, oh, that's right, because of the plus one, but it's dead now, so... Okay, yeah, so... No, it was still passed. It was, it was sitting at a 17. Yeah. Okay. So oh. I can use... I can use it to... I can do an acrobatics to release my okay. grapple. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. You successfully escaped the grapple from the tentacle. Cool. This means war, bending a key point, and initiating flurry of blows. That's a hit, and that's a hit. Sixteen. So sixteen damage. Nice. Well, it's the ones that you just escaped from. Failed. I miss with its bite. Gonna Fits. hit with its tentacle. And you are grappled again. Ouch. 
Who's Bane. such a girl? All right, how's the one looking in front of me? It looks like he hurt, but dead. not not yeah. super hurt. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. You just he didn't even roll a hit. He just found out. Yes. <laughs> hit. There we go. Mac the shit out of it. Altendorf. That's a hit. There you go. Yeah. And then you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a failure. Oh, damn. Jesus, fuck. I know. <laughs> Anything else? That's all again. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Mr. Stables. Can he's currently be grappled. Being replenished. <laughs> Miss. Sweet. Bonus action, disengage. Free action, stow blade. Elsa Um. I'm going to this one. Mm-hmm. That's a hit. Oh, right. C text underneath of it. Um. Seven or three. Psychic or fire? Psychic. And then sorcery point, quicken. I bolt. That's a hit. The, the seven. Not 174, 14. It's looking really hurt. And it is I'm going... I'm still grappled. I can't move, right? Nope. Why? You are still grappled. No! <laughs> it is going to bite Bane. But you didn't even kill her. It hits. Uh, it, yeah, it hits. Bane is bitten and grappled. Would Bane like to roll damage? Yep. I was just subtracting mine. Oh, come on. And make a uh, intelligence saving throw. Intelligence saving throw. Oh, nope. do me a favor. Roll a d100. Enjoy your madness. Short term madness. Last 10 minutes. Or no, I gotta roll a d10. So you are under the effects of fear. Yeah. Fear of what? Of the dog that's biting okay. you. Okay. You're grappled and can't move, so you can't move. I can't move. I can't really attack it. Well, I can, just at disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you essentially don't get to do anything your next turn because you're under the effects of fear, and you can't. Yeah. You, you can still cast a spell. Yeah. No, no. no. It says you must use his or her action and movement each round to flee from the threat oh, of fear. Yeah. 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 And then... Is it my turn already? 
Yes, it is okay. your turn. For Shit. seven minutes. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to try to get free again. Do I get out? Am I free? Yes, you are free. <laughs> well, we're going to key up and then I'm going to smash him with a fist. Miss, which miss. Fails, which is sad. And that's it for my turn. Are you going to run? Oh, I can do that, can't I? Yeah, you're no longer grappled. You can risk the attack of opportunity since it's it's turn next anyways. True, I guess. Okay, I'll start moving. Okay. Roll the exactly. opportunity. It's going to grapple you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my fucking god. Might as well just roll damage. Four plus six. As Ramiro tries to run away, he gets slashed in the back of the head. And it's you're stuck in your out. current position. Oh, so, you're unconscious? Yep. Ooh. Yep, Ramiro is unconscious. I have something that can help you. This <laughs> hound is going to move forward, dragging you with it. Damn. <laughs> And is going to try and bite at... Its speed should Sir also be zero since it is grappling a creature. <laughs> or, oh. No, 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 that's if it's restraining. My bad. No, uh, its yeah. movement should be halved, though. Yeah, which is what I did. It has 40 feet of movement. Um, as my reaction... Um... Hey, I have the same thing. I was in range down. Yeah. Oh, well, it wouldn't be able to move then, because... Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So, you're stable. So, it it's going to up. It has 17 AC? Yeah. Or 11 AC. Oh no, yeah, plus your spellcasting mod. Yeah. So so it's plus your charisma mod. So 14. 14. So it's going to... I'll say 15 because of the ravenous gazer. It's going to try and bite the cocoon. It bites the cocoon. Uh, It has resistance to cold fire, necrotic, immunity, poison, psychic. So basically everything but... Physical damage, physical. which it it takes ten piercing. I can't really do anything else because being that Vermeer was grappled and is now restrained, so is the dog by its tentacle. Nice, Bane. Bane does nothing. Let it break. He's in fear. I can't run away because I'm. Attached to the stupid thing that I'm afeard of. You have a bonus action? All it says is you have to use your action and reaction. Action and No, movement. actually. I have no bonus action Ult- stuff. Ultendorf. Second verse, same as the first. That hits. It dies. I'm going to say the short term ends because the creature that caused the fear, it dies. So you're no longer okay. feared of the thing that's dead. Yeah. 15, 20, 25, 30, 40. Ding dong. Failure. Nice. It wrecks its pain as it tries to pull, but can't move. <laughs> Mr. Stavels. Calculating trajectory. Please hold. Firing. 
That's a hit. Oh, fuck. Sorry. There we go. Uh, fucking... Wait, no, the ally's incapacitated, so it doesn't matter. It's just six piercing. But it's mind. also restrained. So you get advantage. Oh, yeah, and since I had advantage from the uh, <laughs> aim, steady aim. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah cool. 18. Okay, right. it dies. It's my turn. Hey, it combat's dies. over. Combat is over. Bone cage drops. Uh, yeah, we got it. It's time to go. Uh, as the dog dies, the water that's kind of sitting on the ground lights up, and everyone full heals. Oh, sweet. Cool. You are in the area of the church. Well, I did pick up healing spells for us, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I was yeah. about to do prayer of healing. <laughs> uh, healing nice. where I your wounds. Okay. You are in the area of the church. There are okay. random effects that will come to help you guys. Okay. Right. And they just some of the effects just can't happen while there's come entities back. stopping those effects. Nice. Right on. Right Next on. week is Frostmond, right? Uh yeah. depending on how uh, that, guy feels that that depends on what happens tomorrow or yeah that depends on what happens tomorrow we'll see uh i get to find out whether i'm going to have a camera shoved up my ass or mouth first i'm i'm, I'm asking for mouth first i'd rather go <laughs> mouth to ass than ass to mouth we'll see well say goodbye everybody Bye, everybody. Bye. Good night, Bye. everybody. Bye. All right.